battery is connected to a circuit board which regulates the current and charge. Here at TechWise, we were able to assemble one by one. Now, Zoom is the most popular video conferencing app which lets you create and host meeting online. It's the most downloaded app in India and even in US and UK and everywhere it's trending. So much so that people are using Zoom for all sorts of reasons. Including work meetings, virtual classroom, church service and even blind dates and marriages. Now, while it's easy to get started with Zoom, download the app and sign in or create a new account if you haven't already. And then you will see a bunch of different options. You can either create a new meeting, join an existing one or even share your screen. Kind of like Skype and TeamViewer but better. It definitely has some advanced features hidden deep under the settings. And like I always say TechWiser, if you're using something frequently, then make sure you use it effectively. On that note, this is Minal from TechWiser.com and here are some of the Zoom tips and tricks for you to try. Let's begin. Similar to the beauty face mode on most Samsung and Xiaomi's cameras, Zoom also offers touch up my experience, which basically smoothens out your skin and removes marks and blemish. Check this out. Here's how it shows before and after enabling this feature. Not a vast difference, but it definitely make you look a little better. So to activate it, open the Zoom app and on the home page, click on the gear icon to bring up the settings. From here, select the video settings and turn on touch up my experience. As of now, this feature is available for both Windows, Mac and Zoom iOS app. Unfortunately, there is no support for Android. So Zoom has this fun little option that lets you change your messy room background to any image or even a video. Let me give you an example. So here is a regular background and this is the one with virtual background. You can either choose from the default background images provided by Zoom or upload a picture of your own. It's basically like a green screen but without the green screen. So to set it up, open the Zoom app and then click on settings and then choose virtual background. Here you can either use the default background images or even upload one from your computer. But here's a dirty little trick that don't tell people TechWiser told you. So if you're attending a group meeting with hundreds of people, you can replace your own image with a video in a loop or a PNG of you constantly paying attention to the screen. It's kind of popular on Twitter these days. However, this feature will require you a premium of $50 per month. But thankfully, there's a 30-day free trial, which will be enough for the lockdown. Let's hope it doesn't get extended. We have covered Crips in our website and it's quite novel at what it does. So this tool uses AI to filter out noise from the audio so that you get crystal clear voice. Listen. Okay, so this is the audio recorded with Crisp off. And here's the audio sample with Crips on. Overall, Chris has a freemium model which allows you 14-day trial and after that you get 120 minutes every week for free. Use it as a rare utility where you have to attend an important meeting in a noisy surrounding. Now, if you have attended a group call, you will know how messy it can get when everyone's mic is on. So, the best practice is to keep your mic off unless you are asked to speak. And when you are asked to speak, instead of nervously looking for the microphone button on the screen, you can simply press and hold the space bar to quickly unmute and mute your mic right from your keyboard. So, for all you Linux folks, it's Alt A. We use it all the time at TechWiser. And if you are a host who is arranging a group meeting of 100 of people, yes, that's a Zoom limit, then I will recommend you mute all the participants by default so that even if the member joins in late, they won't be disturbing the existing conversation with their mic turned on. So to do so, simply click on the Manage Participant tab on the bottom toolbar while you are on the call and then you will see a microphone and video icon next to each participants. Here you can mute everyone or just select individually.
ओके सो वॉट इज जूम बॉम्बिंग वेल लेट मी एक्सप्लेन टू यू विद एन एग्जाम्पल सो वेन यू क्रिएट अ न्यू जूम अकाउंट यू आर ऑटोमेटिकली असाइन अ पर्सनल मीटिंग आई डी सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू हैड अ रेगुलर ग्रुप मीटिंग विद टीम टेक वाइजर आई कैन सिंपली शेयर द कोड विद दैम दिस वे द टीम कैन जॉइन इन ईजिली एवरी डे और एवरी वीक विदाउट हैविंग टू बग मी फॉर द लॉगिंग नंबर ईच टाइम However, on the other hand, say if I only want to have a one-time group chat with strangers or general public, then it's not advisable to share my personal meeting ID. And if I do that, then strangers will be able to jump in in my personal Zoom calls any time. And that's exactly what Zoom bombing is. If the host doesn't pick up right settings before video conference, then the strangers have the option to exploit the conference. In fact, it has been done several times. when some students exploited the screen sharing feature which was not logged by the host to put out objectionable content for everyone to see on the call and even not just that a few days back an automated tool developed by a security researchers were able to find 100 zoom meeting id in an hour just to prove how vulnerable this system can get so how do you prevent zoom bombing you ask well picking up the right settings before starting a call is the best way to prevent it like in my case it makes sense to generate one time code when i want to talk to public rather than using my personal zoom id which is only reserved for my team member alternatively you can also password protect your meeting which is default after the latest zoom update or even turn off your mic for all the participant before you host a group meeting So this bring us to our next step. How do you do this thing? Well, if you don't want people to send random files or accidentally start sharing stuff in a group conference, then you can lock sharing. This would disable everyone including you from sharing your screen or anything in the meeting. However, on the desktop app, there is an option to disable everyone except the host from sharing anything. You can click on the arrow key in the advanced sharing option and then allow only the host to share media and screen. Now unlike the popular group calling app House Party, Zoom doesn't allow you to play games and it's legit. Why would a formal group calling app will provide you these features? But you know what? Now that we are using Zoom, why not? So start by hosting your new meeting with your friends and make sure screen sharing and audio is on. That's how you want to communicate. Now, once the friends join the meeting, you're ready to play a game. Simply close the Zoom window and open up any co-op games in your web browser, be it chess that I play with Pratik or Overcooked or many other. See the link in the description for more games recommendation and pro tip. You can also align the video to match the game. Pretty cool. Similar to Skype, Zoom lets you record your meeting on desktop, which comes in handy if you have to document a meeting. Save it for someone who didn't attend. So during a call click on the gear icon on the home screen to bring up the settings where you will find a recording tab on the left hand side once you are done with the recording it will be automatically shared after chat or you can save all your recordings in the document folder but there are some caveats for instance you will be only able to record zoom meetings if the host that is a person who is organizing the meeting gives you permission So to give permission you can log into the website and under my account select recordings this will give you two option cloud recording and local recording now click on the settings on the top right of either of these two options where you will see the option to give host and participant permission to record locally or on the cloud however unlike skype recording zoom meetings on mobile isn't free and you will require a paid subscription which thankfully does comes with a free trial So yeah these were some of the zoom tips and tricks that you can use while working from home so